out here on the mighty Titabawasi River. Obviously in the river, your biggest thing is the current. Midland firefighter Edward Peake and the rest of the department prepare for water rescues. You need to be trained and ready for it, just all that much more, you know what I mean? They completed their summer training earlier this year, but gave TV5 a ride along of their main territory. I don't have a firefighter build, I'm, I apologize for that. <laughs> then we were off. You know, if your patient's coming down river, you gotta, you gotta be down river further to get them. You know, you, you, if you start where they're at, by the time you get to them, they're gonna be, a, you know, a long ways down. Our destination today wasn't a fake patient. It was the Dow Dam. The dam signifies a lot for us. We've lost a couple guys line of duty deaths there in past years, back in the 70s. So, you know, it, it means a lot to us to make sure that we know what we're doing here. Though the water was calm, this is the same river that made the Tridge impassable during 2020's flood. Our phone rang and said, get to station one, we're going to start giving out evacuation orders. And, and then it was just a mad sprint for the next, I don't know, 48 hours. While everyone at the station has some knowledge of how to do a water rescue, only a couple are subject matter experts, like Christopher Lintz. You got the icebreakers. Yep. These are called hijackers. Hijackers. So it it gives you a really small surface area to slide on the ice, so it goes nice and easy. The boat is built so water can flow in and out easily, as our socks found out very quickly. Lintz and the team train for winter rescues, too. It's a dry suit. It's got thermal protection in it got suspenders to wear, and then all your hands and feet are enclosed. Lynn says they average a few water rescues a year. The dam seems to be a tricky spot for most. A couple of years ago, we had one where they had their primary motor and their trolling motor both quit, and they ended up on top of the dam on the rocks there. It makes sense. From the angle we took, you can't tell there's a dam. And then suddenly, you're at the edge. The fire department emphasized if you're going boating, know your location and have life jackets and a flare gun on board. Other than that, you can laze along with the river. It's also just being out here, it's just fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> we, we never mind a boat ride. In Midland, Trevor Sahaki, WNEM TV5.